what is up guys and welcome back to yet another video and in this particular video series we're going to be looking at how we integrate aws and github actions now there's two reasons why we would want to do this because if we don't it normally means that we are taking the traditional path of creating a user on aws creating those necessary keys and then putting them into github actions in order to have github actions authenticate and deploy infrastructure into our aws account there's two pain points with doing it that way. Number one, there is a security pain point, which means that by creating keys and passing them on, putting them onto GitHub, we are essentially opening up a security hole. The other thing is that, which is the second pain point, is that it means that we then have to have um, an administrative task of managing those keys. We have to make sure that we pay attention to expiration dates. We have to make sure that we uh, make sure to swap them out for new keys and, and put them on to GitHub Actions again. And obviously that's time consuming. That's us spending time on things that are not really valuable to us and ultimately could be done better essentially so the reason we want to do this integration is because it allows us to overcome both pain points when we integrate aws and github actions all of the authentication happens between those two in, uh, platforms via what is known as a, via what is known as an identity provider so uh, automatically we don't have to care about the security and at the same time, we don't have to care about swapping out keys later, simply because that will be there's simply because there's no long-standing keys, right? So that's what this series is about. It's about showing case showcasing how that is done. We're gonna do this in four parts. In this video, I was just doing the introduction, just telling you what we're gonna be doing in the in the series. Then in the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start creating the other uh, components that are required. So we've got three really components that are inv involved here. There is the AWS side of things where we'll create the identity provider as well as the role that GitHub Actions will assume. Then there's the repository and integrating it into a local repository. And then there is the actual workflow itself, All right? So in the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the identity provider and the role, and then we'll take it from there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.